get Hey everybody! I'm here with my best friend! <laughs> we are um, processing chickens today and we've got Kelly and her husband Jeff and Ashton. Yep, so we got our table set up. Actually, they brought the table over. Um, that was like super nice of them. And then we've got our cooler set up. So we've got ice and then we're gonna put feet and hearts and liver in the bags. And then we've got the trash cans filled with ice and water and that's where we're gonna put the bodies. The bodies. <laughs> okay, that's where we're gonna put the chickens after we cut their, cut them up. Yeah. This sounds so brutal. All right, first chicken. I can't show that. We can show this. You can record it, you just gotta edit Yeah, it yeah. All right, so we've got the killing cones. And Jeff and Kelly brought these over for us. Certainly. Like <laughs> and the buckets. And then we're going to, after we're done with everything, we're going to dump the buckets of blood onto the fruit plants, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they did. Lots of nutrients. Yeah. So these guys are just, you know, taking their sweet time. We've just been waiting all morning. <laughs> Let's see what we got over here. All right, what we got, Malachi? They're all in there. So this is our old chicken tractor and they just loaded it up on the trailer, stuck the chickens in there from their chicken tractor that we've been moving them around in and they're just waiting. Look at these. They got bigger, okay? They're not like itty bitty. Uh-oh, they don't know what's coming. You're gonna make my grow. Yeah, and we got the water. The water going. The plucker. This is our setup. It's just us for today. So yesterday we were at their house. We were supposed to be at their house and then our pigs got out. And so then I had to stay home and babysit. I think we went to your house like four times. Yeah. <laughs> so Ashton was there this in the morning setting up, I think, right? Yeah. And then as soon as I'm like coming out down the road, uh, I look in the pig pen and they're gone. So we had to, I had to call Ash and he had to leave, come over here. And then I left, went to her house and then she's like, yeah, we don't need you, we need Ashton. We so then that. I left <laughs> and then he went back over there. We needed more man help. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they had, our friend Jen was over there and she was like helping Kelly eviscerate. And Jeff was the only one doing the plucker and picking the birds. I think Malachi was helping with the birds and then the scalding, yeah, yeah, all that. So they needed Ashton's help more than my help. No. Here you go, honey. So uh, all of our friends have gone home. We had some of our, uh, a good neighbor friend, and then obviously Jeff and Kelly were here, and everybody's gone. It took us, what, two hours? Yeah. Maybe, like, you know, start to finish, pretty much. Um, and we're done. So we did 21 birds. We cleaned off the table, washed it with soap. We got the, um, so we got all the, Gizzards cleaned and rinsed and livers and hearts and feet in there. And then we fit 21 birds in here in their ice bath. And we've got the, you know, all the innards and stuff that's there. And then Ashton is cleaning the um, scalder. And Jeff cleaned this. They're got to rinse that out. So it's a pretty, pretty good day. I think we're happy with the 20, you know, the number 20, 21 ish. I'm gonna make her this is close. Um, last time we did it at the house, we did like 50 and it was just a long day, very tiring. And we've changed some things about the way that we do it. So we've, Ashton, Mr. Like chicken, eviscerator and uh, 
processor of the year over here. He did The Neighbors two weeks in a row. Then he did Jeff and Kelly's yesterday. And then now he's doing, you know, today we did ours. So, um, over a hundred chickens. Yeah, over a hundred chickens. So he's done a lot. Um, so we've got some ideas from our neighbors and the way that um, they did it. And before we learned from another farm up in uh, another part of Florida. And they just had, they were like, you know, a, a farm where they sell their meat. So they had the bowls here and they had, you know, once one person was cutting the feet off and then they slid the chicken down. One person, you know, pulled the insides out. The other person cleaned the innards and they um, cut the liver off and they cut the heart off. So it was like stations on the eviscerating table. And so they were just putting the hearts in a bowl and the livers in a bowl and the gizzards in a bowl. But I like the idea here on the homestead because it's just us um, and a lot of people have been doing this. So we just had the, the cooler here with the bags. So one person does the chicken from start to finish, which is okay because we don't have that many, you know, we're not doing like 200. So, you know, we're cutting the feet off, putting them in the bag, um, you know, cutting, eviscerating, and then putting the liver and the heart in a bag and the gizzard in a bag. And then later, like right now, we just clean the gizzards. So you wait to clean everything. But I like that. Um, and it seemed to work pretty well for us. We didn't really get backed up. Maybe like one time we were backed up, we had four birds on the table, but then, you know, Ashton or uh, one of Kelly's boys came and, you know, he did the feet and then, um, we were, we were pretty on track today. So that was just one little tip that I learned that we've started incorporating here was the bags in the cooler sitting upright. So you can just put the things in there. And then whenever we bring everything in tonight, um, we're going to leave probably most, I think we're going to cut most of these birds up. The last time we did the Cornish cross, we kept them whole and we really didn't portion any. I think we maybe portioned 12. Yeah, it wasn't that much, but, um, yeah, last night I was over at Kelly and Jeff's house and they were, we were portioning them up. And I think for this type of bird, it's better to portion it because the, the breasts are really small, but you get a good size leg quarter and, um, the wings are really nice on these birds. Like I think a wing on a Cornish cross is not that there's not that much meat. They're pretty much a breast bird. So, um, I think we're going to cut up most of these. Yep, it bucket. Yeah. Hey, pig, 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 pig. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Hey buddy. Come here. Oh yeah, eat that up. 